What is up guys, it's Chu here, bringing you another movie review, anime movie this time, on My Hero Academia, the movie Two Heroes. Firstly, I want to talk about my experience. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed seeing this movie on premiere day, uh, first and foremost. And secondly, people were just enjoying themselves and it was a really good movie. I enjoyed the way people were, the constant cheering, the happy, the laughter. It was it was great. And that's one of the things that I think that this fandom does and it brings out the best in people. And it was just really it was really cool. It was real chill. So I really enjoyed that. So I personally wish this would happen more often. Uh, the next movie I'll be looking forward to seeing and it's probably going to be just as packed because I will say that that theater was packed I had to travel an hour to go see the closest uh, theater because the other one that was closer to me was actually packed and I waited a little too late to get my ticket so but it was definitely worth the drive and it wasn't bad so but I'm definitely looking forward to it. I know Dragon Ball is going to be just as packed, if not more. So, yeah. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get right into the review. So, the actual movie is giving us a better understanding of All Might and his connections with people outside of Japan. I mean, we start off the movie with, and before I continue, this review has spoilers. So if you have not watched the movie, do not watch this video. Go watch the movie, and then go watch the, this video, guys. But the episode, I mean, the episode, the movie, excuse me, starts off with a flashback of how All Might makes his debut in the U.S., California specifically, and defeating some hero, I mean, some villains, and being introduced by david shield who was his kind of like his assistant he's basically his robin and telling everyone that he is all might that he is looking forward to being the symbol of peace and we have deku with all might arriving on the island and being well deku being wowed by the fact that this island contains all of the greatest minds of the world together to work to make heroes and I guess I believe the gadgets for heroes uh, accessible and discoveries and research is being done here uh, we are introduced with Melissa who is the daughter of David Shield and looks up to All Might and is very interested in the way Deku is uh, he she notices things and I, I think that as a character I'd like how Melissa is uh, she definitely sparked some jealousy in uh, freaking Ochako or Okacho. I don't even know her name. She's kind of annoying to me. In this movie, she kind of was during the beginning. But uh, <laughs> things change with her later on in the movie. But Melissa definitely is uh, has a very keen eye for things. She notices after meeting with Deku that he had scars on his hand. I'm guessing that... He had been through some battles and whatnot. So she actually has an invention that allows him to be able to use his his arms with no real, I guess, backfire. Being able to use more of his strength, which really comes in handy for someone who, at that point, only uses his fists. So it was kind of cool. Uh, but then after All Might, we have uh, meeting David. David kind of isn't sure as to why All Might is losing his quirk. Of course, Deku knows the reason, and he obviously won't say it because he promised, but we see All Might's kind of inner struggle because he does, he wants to tell his friend, but he knows that if he were to tell him that it would cause some concern and that his life could be in danger. So uh, he definitely didn't want to do that. Uh, we are seeing how everyone from friggin UA or class 1A is actually there doing one thing or another we have Mineta and Kaminari kind of doing butler stuff the girls are kind of 
Uh, well, they're kind of split, really. We have Ogajo, Momo, and... I forgot the other girl's name. Oh, Earjack. She... Oh, they're all kind of wandering around. Uh, the other girls were kind of left in the dorm. Uh, some of the other lesser, I guess, important characters are out and about. I hate that they did my, did my man wrong. If you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, he... Everyone else, we have Ida, who is kind of supervising everyone and kind of tries to gather everyone for the dance that they're having, or I guess the not a dance, but more like the meal. Uh, Baka goes there, and, and Kirishima get lost, so that is funny in itself. Uh, but while everyone is kind of enjoying a good moment or a good time, we see that they are. Well, they were already infiltrated by some villains, and then taking down the villains uh, was be was a priority. They had the uh, whole place locked down, and in the process of that, we see how Deku and all everyone else is kind of aware of what's going on. Uh, all Might is trapped along with every other pro hero, and things go south really quickly. Uh, after they get discovered, uh, we have them going through multiple obstacles, uh, going and trying to get Melissa back to, the, I guess, the main main uh, room where she's able to access the security. Uh, but they are, like I said, going through uh, different troubles, uh, whether it be the security robots or whether it be other people with quirks. So we did get some interesting fights uh, throughout this. Uh, and when everything seemed lost, we see how uh, the truth becomes revealed. Uh, we see how David actually staged all this, or wanted to stage this, in order to get his project that was put away. And hiring these uh, villains, or so-called villains, to help in his retrieval of things. But he's double-crossed, not only by his assistant, but by the person who was honestly I don't even know why they never revealed this man's name but they did but we see how this person actually doesn't even care whether he's being an actor or a villain he just wants this thing for himself uh, and in the process we see how David gets shot as well uh, I believe that his assistant dies uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, but All Might makes his uh, grand entrance or re-entrance really and he's not enough to being able to stop this monster uh, now that he's actually used the invention for himself and it is revealed that one for all or all for one excuse me it has actually had something to do with this which freaking freaking gets all might all wrapped up and ready to fight even more but he's still no match but we got the epic scene where we have both Deku and All Might going together and fighting and finishing off at the very end, which was really cool. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed the way that it ended. It was nice. Uh, unfortunately, there were some things that I didn't like. Uh, for example, some of the freeze frames or some of the frames itself, uh, bad quality, but uh, it's, the movie itself was really enjoyable and a lot of laughs, a lot of fun times. If you guys haven't watched it, go do so. If you have, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on the video. As always, stay safe and I'll catch you later. You